Amber Heard self-destructs on the stand and her gaslighting. Fuel me once here, driving instructor of the world. At the end of the day, Amber's lies are more evident than ever. Did you know she was the first one that actually wanted to file suit? Johnny just got to the filing first. By the way, both of them are wearing a gray jacket and brown shirt. Did somebody tell somebody? Also, Amber never handed her phone over to, for evidence. She handed over her laptop and pictures. Johnny handed over several phones. Speaking of phones, Dr. Richard Gilbert, orthopedic surgeon expert on the hand. He says it could have happened exactly the way Johnny Depp described. Vodka bottle's not gonna leave glass shards. It's a crush injury, but not a pit, pinch injury. No way it could have occurred like Amber Heard said in Cross. Rottenborn says, wait a minute, Amber's never said the phone. We've never advanced a theory of how that happens. Wait, what, what was all that testimony about a phone then on the wall? Julian Acker, another data guy. Basically, if Alec Baldwin and Jimmy Kimball had a baby. Kind of like Alec Baldwin light. Not a great look for someone talking about shooting photos. Too soon? Says photos one and three are just standard Apple programs for sorting and collecting. And basically, Neumeister's testimony is nothing. But on cross-examination, he can't tell which photos are original. When you got a bunch of them, nope, I can't tell. What about these two photos? Take them the same day, the same hour, same minute, same file name. Nope, I can't tell. Dr. Hughes comes back. Oh, everything I did was right. Everything Dr. Curry did was wrong. Just read the manual, she says. If you misinterpreted the data, you're not qualified to evaluate it. That's a heck of a standard. But Denison on cross is devastating. Dennison actually brings out the manuals and reads them. Not the whole thing, just some parts. Hey, doctor, you've left big blanks here. You've never described the frequency, which the test says you have to do. Oh, it's in my 88 pages of notes. Well, how can another doctor evaluate it? Well, everyone here has my 88 pages of notes. I'm not going to read through 88 pages of notes. The CAPS-5 for PTSD says all the behaviors are supposed to be analyzed with four activities within the last year. She says, oh, I just oriented to a different time frame. What that means is you didn't follow the instructions. Also, all the previous tests, especially the one big one, says you cannot analyze without a CAPS-5. You cannot diagnose. She did diagnose and didn't administer the CAPS-5 until two years later. Who's not fit to evaluate now? And you got to look at this. The text calls her Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Even they don't believe her. There you go. Good morning, Dr. Seuss. It's supposed to be Dr. Hughes. A lame moment of the day. She forgets the question she's asking. <laughs> okay, too good. Listen, next up, Amber Heard. All Amber Heard, part two. Come on along.